Welcome to Insider Medicine In-Depth, I'm Dr. Susan Sharma. According to research published today in The Lancet, previous radiation to the reproductive system for childhood cancers can raise the risk for having a stillborn baby or one that dies shortly after birth. Here are some important facts to remember if you are considering getting pregnant. You should stop smoking because smoking has been linked to pregnancy problems, including premature labor, and can increase the chance that your baby might not grow properly in the uterus. You should refrain from drinking alcohol, as this activity raises the risk of fetal alcohol syndrome, which can have permanent effects on the heart, brain, and predispose to behavioral problems. You should seek regular medical attention so that your doctor can make sure that the fetus is growing properly and that you are not developing problems like diabetes or high blood pressure. A research team from the International Epidemiology Institute in Rockville and Vanderbilt University were interested in determining if radiation for childhood cancers raised the risk of having a stillborn baby or a baby that died shortly after delivery. To perform their study, they evaluated data from the Childhood Cancer Survivor Study, which included information from 25 North American medical institutions. From the over 2,500 childhood cancer survivors who participated in this study, nearly 5,000 pregnancies occurred. The results showed that radiation to the male reproductive system for testicular cancer did not increase the risk for a stillborn baby. However, if a girl received pelvic irradiation for a uterine or ovarian lesion, their risk increased by a factor of nine times. For girls who received irradiation with a dose that was 2.5 gray or higher prior to puberty, the risk was 12 times higher. While the cause of the higher stillborn rate is not definitively known, it may be related to growth and blood flow to the uterus. We had a chance to speak with Dr. John Boyce, one of the investigators of this study, who offered some further insight. One of the great success stories in treatment is the survival is so high for children uh, with cancer, reaching 75 to even 80 percent today. So that we're able to do such studies now, looking at the possibility of uh, adverse late effects such as related to pregnancy. For the young girls who were treated for cancer with high doses of radiation uh, before puberty, they were at a high risk of having a child that was born still or died shortly after birth. Thus in terms of these women, it is important that they bring to the attention of their physician uh, if they desire to become pregnant that they had been cancer survivors and had uh, experienced uh, high doses of radiation that might result in a high-risk pregnancy. And as such, their physicians should be alerted to this fact and uh, provide uh, special screening and special care and handling as a high-risk pregnancy. Today's research offers some relief for men who have previously received irradiation for reproductive lesions or who may have been environmentally exposed. However, the results underscore the importance of careful pregnancy planning in women who have received irradiation for pelvic lesions during childhood. For Insider Medicine In Depth, I'm Dr. Susan Sharma.